All of us come into this world with nothing, and we leave with nothing. Christ has saved us from the worst that is to come, the wrath of God. Many in this world do not understand that they are under the wrath of God. Christ came to correct that. He's given us his life, his word, his Bible, and his truth. There is none like Christ. There is none like God. No one is free to do exactly what they want. There is a price, a price that will be paid in eternity. We all have an appointment with death. The wages of sin is death. We will all come under the judgment seat of God. Where will you be at the judgment seat? Will you decide? who you are to follow, or will you follow the crowd? Will there be cultural Marxism, which is currently alive in this world today, preaching lies to everyone who wants to take it on? Or will you read and understand the word, the only eternal word that is from God? Let me read to you something from Matthew 5. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Jesus was persecuted for righteousness' sake, for no other reason than that. He was pure, he was divine, he was the Son of God. He fought your salvation with his precious blood. And that salvation is pure and thorough and eternal. And there will be no other salvation on this earth.